You're not I'm listening. I'm a passenger, Stop. bro. You guys can't do this. Yeah, you on you. Stop. Stop. Karens are some of the most annoying and insufferable people to ever exist. But what happens when these Karens become over smart and try to fool no nonsense cops? Oh, oh my god! We were attacked! I was so I was so I swear to god! I Here are four times over smart Karens try to fool no nonsense cops, but they terribly failed. Starting with the craziest arrest where a Karen fights with cops after assaulting two people on the streets. On August 31st, 2024, Key West police officers responded to a fight outside Sloppy Joe's, a popular local bar. Upon arrival, they found a 42-year-old woman named Sasha and a 48-year-old man named Jod involved in the incident. The officers questioned the injured parties, who were bleeding and had visible injuries. They stated that the couple had hit them multiple times, causing their injuries. He has Brother, I know I'm, I, I know I'm a crazy guy. However, when Sasha and Jod were questioned about the altercation, their responses were unclear and contradictory. Sasha mentioned being bitten and attacked, while Jod admitted he had been punched. The officers noticed that both were acting strangely and seemed agitated. They also noted that both were dishonest with the officers, which led to their attempt to arrest them. As the officers tried to arrest Sasha, she became more agitated, loudly protesting her innocence. Oh my god, you got a gangster! You got 
She repeatedly said she did nothing wrong and that the officers were mistreating her. She also claimed that someone had bitten her and that she was being attacked unjustly, but there were no visible injuries on her. Despite the officers' efforts to calm her down, she became increasingly resistant, shouting that the officers were trying to harm her. This is a joke! 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 Don't you Run! 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 Get The officers warned her multiple times to stop resisting. At one point, the officers tased Sasha while she was in handcuffs, but she resisted, accusing them of wrongful behavior. Sasha! You're gonna get Sasha and I fell off! I'm on it! Get me out! I'm in nothing! I'm in nothing! Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! Her behavior became erratic as she shouted and screamed, claiming she was being raped and mistreated by the officers. This led the police to use pepper spray to control her, which caused her to scream more, asking for help and claiming she was in pain. <laughs> Let's walk. Look at what they're doing let's to me. Walk. 
off. Let's walk. This is not normal. This is not normal. This is not normal. Walk. Help me. What did I do? I did nothing. I swear to God, I did nothing. I did nothing. What did I do? Have a seat. Like literally, have a seat. what did I do? Why am I in the trouble? Why am I in the trouble? Just get in the car. You gotta tell me. We did. Why? Get in the car. Get your oh my god, you're full of my fucking hair. Because you're fighting, that's why. No, I'm not. Get but in the car. What did I do, sir? You battered a law enforcement officer. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It's on facts. Meanwhile, Judd, who was also involved in the fight, was calmer, but still visibly frustrated. He complained about being punched in the face during the fight and expressed pain, particularly in his shoulders and wrists, due to the tightness of the handcuffs. He repeatedly told the officers that he respected them, but felt they were being too rough on him and Sasha. In the end, Sasha was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer, assault on a law enforcement officer, disorderly conduct, and resisting an officer with violence. Jod was charged with resisting an officer without violence. Sasha continued to be combative at the jail and was restrained in a special chair to prevent further outbursts. The other individuals involved in the fight had left the scene before the situation escalated. However, this next entitled girl tries to fool cops not once but twice and faces harsh consequences. Stop spitting on me! On November 28, 2023, police officers responded to a vehicle accident. Upon arrival, they found a woman who claimed she was the passenger, not the driver, and that the actual driver had fled into the woods. Are you the driver? No, my friend just like dipped, but Your my dad's, the driver? yeah, my dad's gonna get here right now. Okay, I guess y'all both been drinking? No. Oh, I can smell it. That's all I'm well, asking, is it on? I was in the passenger seat, so. I know, but so did you have been drinking? No. Was your driver drinking? Yeah. Okay, all right, where did he run to? It was a girl. 222. Our driver ran away into the woods. 1622. Which way did she run away to? I'm not entirely sure if she's telling the truth or not. Uh, I believe she's intoxicated. I'm not seeing any evidence of anybody running down. The officers became suspicious as they had received multiple reports stating only one person was in the vehicle, and there was no clear evidence of anyone else running from the scene. The woman appeared to be intoxicated and behaved erratically during the interaction. When the officers tried to talk to her and asked for details about the supposed driver, the woman refused to cooperate, denying she had been drinking. She admitted the driver had been drinking, but could not provide clear answers about who the driver was or where they went. We have a bunch of callers saying that there's one person in the vehicle. Hey, you wanna... What? No. It's not the truth. All right, uh, where, what's the name of your friends? I'm not talking to you. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Quit resisting. Quit resisting. Quit resisting. You can't do that. Knock it off. You're not going to walk away. You can't do that. You're about to be detained and handcuffed. You're being detained. Knock Quit resisting. Off. Quit resisting. Stop tensing up. You are detained. You're not going anywhere. As the officers attempted to detain her for public intoxication and resisting arrest, she continued to struggle, making it difficult for them to control the situation. She became increasingly resistant, arguing with the officers, refusing to follow instructions, and eventually escalating the situation. I mean, Cody is wrong. I was a passenger. Well, you're, you're not. I was listening. a passenger, Stop. bro. You guys can't do this. No, seriously. I was a passenger, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Stop doing this! I didn't do anything wrong! Do not yeah, kick again! She, I was trying to talk to her, she said no, she just uh, started walking away from me. Well, congratulations, you just assaulted an officer. You alright? Yeah, I'm doing it. I didn't! Um, just she uh, started walking away from me, so I yeah. grabbed her. No, I didn't. You guys are fine. I come over to her and she said no, so I grabbed her. Yeah. Lying to me. She's intoxicated. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's yeah. under arrest now for PI. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and resisting. What are you guys doing? Yeah. So, uh, Seriously. Well, she's saying that the passenger ran off. Yeah, we got a witness. Yeah, they did. One, one of the you vehicles. Bitches? Yeah. All right, turn her over. Let's we'll see if we got a seatbelt burn on her. Yeah. The officers informed her that she was under arrest, but she refused to comply stating multiple times that she was not the driver and that they could not arrest her. 
She claimed she was simply a passenger and did nothing wrong. During the arrest, the woman resisted by tensing up and the officers had to forcefully restrain her, even warning that she would be taken to the ground if she did not cooperate. You read really? No, I haven't yet. You read her. My dad's gonna sue your You realize that, right? The woman was transported to the hospital, where she continued to resist medical staff, refusing treatment and lashing out verbally. The situation became more chaotic as she continued to scream, resist, and threaten the officers. Sure. They kill you too. I'm kicking in the face. Two. I would take you so hard. And I tapped him and him yeah, to the ground. Okay. Because these guys were not incapable of <laughs> You're dumb! You realize that you guys tackled a pregnant girl? Right? Oh yeah. You would chill out and you wouldn't have to. You want us to check you out? No. Were you in an accident? Yeah. Well, I think he was with two grown men. Right in your nose. Tackle me in the f***ing ground. And you f***ing realize that, right? right. Two grown men! Tackle me in the ground! I don't give a f*** what do you think? At all! Right now! Him and him! What f***ing 150 f***ing Pounds. I don't care what they think right now, okay? She should have followed their instructions. Pounds. I did. Patients refusing you exam uh, or even voicing any complaints. Uh -uh. There you go again. Another one. Knock it off. <laughs> Get the head up. Yep, sure did. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. 200 pounds over me. Wow, yeah, so Yeah, we're ready. Why are you spitting? That's just nasty. There's OC everywhere, dude. What is that? Yours? That's OC. Is that yours? That's OC. That's yours. Yep. I'm throwing up. Oh, is that hers? It's throwing up. Nope, that's me. Yeah. That was you. That was can of OC that literally just exploded. Is that your can of hot dog? It's your can. Who's can? Of <laughs> That's my can. Where's your can? Okay. Get the mask off. No, I can't breathe. Okay, then stop spitting. You understand? Cut the <laughs> Stop spitting. Stop. Everybody's here to help. Take the can. Just being ridiculous. We're getting some uh, wipes. <laughs> She's medically clear because she won't allow us to do it. It's first time I've tired. Hey. Okay. Get, uh, get, we got customer feet. You keep no, him. You know, regular set of cups. We're just trying to help feet. if you'd be reasonable. You guys are f***ing out of people! Well, yeah, that was my f***ing Stop. 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 I just talked to your dad. And I'm gonna f*** you in. I think I'm just looking for your ass. It, so all this orange needs to be Well, it's all over my pants. <laughs> all this OC is all over. Come on, you're vomiting. Stop. 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 She was eventually taken into custody for public intoxication, resisting arrest, and later assaulting an officer by kicking and spitting on them. 
Throughout the entire incident, she remained combative, making threats and accusations against the officers. The case escalated with additional charges being added due to her aggressive behavior, including assault on officers and medical personnel. Despite her claims, the officers determined she was the only person involved in the crash, and no evidence supported her story of a fleeing driver. However, this wasn't her first arrest. She had used a similar story before when she got caught after crashing, but it terribly failed. Let's take a look. On December 20th, 2022, officers received a call from a concerned resident after a distraught girl knocked on her door seeking help. A young woman appeared to be intoxicated and confused after a car accident. The woman claimed that she was at a Christmas party with three other girls who offered to drive her home. However, she said she fell asleep in the back seat of the car and woke up to find the girls gone and the car crashed into a fence. According to her, she was left alone, walked about a mile, and eventually knocked on a stranger's door for help. Oh, there, is it warmer? Should be a little warmer in there, okay? <laughs> Four girls left me over here. Do you know who they are? No, they just left me from a Christmas party. But you don't they, know who these girls are? They drove me over here and then they crashed. And <laughs> my head went like right through. The, were you sitting in the front seat? Yeah, they got it. Just point, point where you were. Two, four. And then, then I walked like. A mile over here. Yeah. Is your car still over there? Yeah, it's right like past over here. It's been a mile, and I like walked past, like walked all the way over here because I was like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you guys leaving it'd me be, all alone? Yeah, no yeah. And I was in the middle so of they, nowhere, and no one else was. So here. your car's still there, and they all ran off. Yeah. She said it was this way, right? But the lady said she pointed that way. Like she was like, no, this way. <laughs> so she's kind of lost. Huh? Every girl is gone. <laughs> How many will pull it here? Three. Do you know any of the girls? No. Or? There's three girls and they, they hit the fence and then they all dipped. <laughs> and then I ran. Like, I was really scared. I was like, where are they? Did you run, did you run this way? Or I you... ran just straight by myself. So it happened over there? <laughs> yeah, and I was really scared. I was like, the officers responding to the scene questioned her about the events, but her story seemed inconsistent. She initially said she didn't know the names of the girls who were with her, and her details about how the accident occurred kept changing. The pieces of the puzzle unraveled when she claimed that glass flew everywhere when the car crashed, but the officers found no glass in the back seat where she was sitting. She also mentioned that smoke filled the car, prompting her to crawl from the back seat to the front seat and exit the vehicle through the driver's side door. You were in the back seat? On the, you were on the left side or the right side? On the left side? Okay, so which way, which way is the car? Which way is your car? Which way? Go, go right. You were in the back right or the back Three, left? Four, four, one, eight, eight, eight. Repeating, yelling at three, four, 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 one, eight, eight, eight. Here, and then they were, they all got out. Right, 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 Give us one second, okay? She's not making no sense. Yeah, so so we are right now we're just investigating. So if you wanna call your husband and kinda of tell him he can divert because she she won't be going anywhere anytime soon. So she's going to jail, but you can't. Yes. So was she driving? Uh, we're still trying to figure out the story. She's stating she was with four friends, three friends, that she doesn't know the names of. She doesn't know where they're at. She said she just woke up 
and they were gone. Um, but it's it's a pretty deserted area where we found her car. It's kind of out All of right, the... ma'am. Okay. All right. Well, I I appreciate your call. Let me call my husband real quick. Okay. Let me know. All right. Thank you. Moment. Wouldn't she have like a huge mark? She had the white. So she did mention on the way over here that she woke up and saw glass everywhere, which there's none in the back seat. Glass everywhere and smoke. There's no glass back here. No glass. And then she went from being in the left side to being in the right side. As the officers continued to investigate, they became suspicious of her account. They asked if she was the one driving the car, and though she insisted she wasn't, her nervous behavior and changing story raised doubts. She admitted to having had a drink and a half at the party, claiming that she's a lightweight due to her small size. She also mentioned some issues with the car's brakes, but denied that this was the cause of the crash. Eventually, the officers placed her under arrest for public intoxication. When asked if she had anything dangerous in her purse, she said no and insisted she had never been in trouble before. As the situation escalated, she became verbally aggressive, threatening to sue the officers and resisting their attempts to control her. I was going to see the fuck out of you guys. You guys have no idea. Despite her protests, the officers proceeded with the arrest. However, this last Karen thought she could fool cops by covering her domestic assault, but cops showed her otherwise. Okay, okay I, I show you the truth right now with oh, okay, videos okay. in my cell phone. Okay. He was hitting me oh, in the it? floor. Oh, <laughs> bro, bro, he was hitting me. I got videos in my cell phone. On January 5th, 2024, police were called to investigate a disturbance outside a local business. When officers arrived, they found a woman and her boyfriend. The woman appeared calm, but was denying any argument or need for police intervention. She claimed they were just talking and insisted she never told anyone to call the police. You're yelling to call the police. But you're yelling and say, saying call the police. No, 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 we're just talking. You didn't yell to someone to say call the police? No. Okay, so you were fighting in the car? No. So what's happening right now? No. Hmm? We're just talking. You're just talking? Mm -hmm. So you weren't just fighting? No. Okay. The officer spoke to the boyfriend, who had visible injuries and blood on his face. He admitted that they had argued because he was drunk and the woman was angry with him. He said she had hit him, but also said he didn't want to press charges. The boyfriend explained that they lived together and had been in a relationship for a year. So what were you guys, were you guys arguing? Yeah, we were, we were arguing because uh, she thinks that I was drunk and she was you know, she's mad at me. You took her hand your Yeah. No, just, yeah. Did, no, 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 did anything me. happen to your mouth? Because I see blood on here. Yeah, because she hit me, bro. She hit you? Yeah. Is there any other mark, anything? Did she yeah, hit you? Where yeah. did she hit you? Yeah, she hit me everywhere. Who, who is she to you? Is she girlfriend? She's my girlfriend. We live together, but she hit me all over the place. Because I was drinking, I was drunk. And then she's mad at me because I was drunk. You know? Okay. You can't yell and say, call police, call police. No, he just wanna go home and I helping him. He was calling me like, baby, Yeah, can but you can't him? yell, call police, call police. And they think we're not gonna show up and no, then nothing's baby, gonna no. happen. He needs help and I helping him. Okay, but you can't say, oh, call police and then nothing happens. We need no, to come and investigate happen. and see what's going on. Nothing okay? happened. The woman continued to deny any serious altercation. She said she had only come to pick him up because he called her for help. Despite her claims, the police were concerned because of the visible injuries on the boyfriend and the conflicting statements. Why? Put your hands behind your back. Oh, why? Put your hands behind your back. Tell you gonna do something? Rip your foot. Money. Don't resist. Stop Don't resist. resist. Hey, you Don't keep resist. moving. You're gonna catch Money. another chair. Don't put on the ground if you keep resist. resisting. Money. Well, there's nothing oh, they can go? do. Why go? Why? Because you're f***ed up. Yeah, bro, but don't, don't, don't know, bro, don't, don't I, don't Believe me, if I could, yeah, if I, I could, me, but we can't. Let I'm not blaming you. Let me drive, bro, let me drive. I do, you can't I drive, do. you're drunk. No, bro, no, I'm not drunk. I'm not I drunk. can smell it, dude. I know, bro, but I'm not drunk, bro. Let I don't me. care. I don't care, I'm not drunk. No, bro, you. hey. It's only hey, gonna make it please. worse. It's all money. 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 Your hands behind your back. Oh, my God. What happened? Put your hand behind your back. Money, what are you doing? 
I just died to help him. We don't have an option. Yeah, bro. The situation escalated when the boyfriend, clearly distressed, asked the officers not to arrest the woman. He argued that it would harm their family, mentioning they had two kids together. He begged the officers to let them go home and suggested staying at a hotel instead. The officers explained that, due to the visible injuries and the nature of the situation, they had no choice but to make an arrest under Florida law. They emphasized that they were required to act to ensure safety, even though the boyfriend was reluctant. He continued to plead with them, expressing his frustration and fear that the arrest would impact their lives negatively. Okay, I show you the truth right no now problem. with video. No In my cell phone, he was hitting me on the, side. the floor. On the <laughs> bro, bro, he was. Listen. Lean against the car and then we'll talk. Okay. okay. No I show you the truth right now with oh, okay. videos. Okay. In my cell phone. Okay. He was hitting me the in the floor. The <laughs> bro, bro, he was hitting me. I got videos in my cell phone. Relax. From you right now. Here, no, mommy, look my you cell phone. Wanna, okay. Mommy, look my cell phone right now. Look my cell phone. It's a video like two minutes ago. It's a video. He hitting me. He, he was hitting me. However, the CCTV footage disclosed the full picture, proving that the woman had hit him earlier. In the end, the officers had to arrest the woman. The boyfriend was upset, knowing the legal consequences could affect their family. The situation was challenging for everyone involved, but the officers had to follow the law to ensure safety and address the visible evidence of domestic violence.